Well, hello you. <laughs> Jules here from Tarot Adventures with Jules. I'm back for day three of Tarot Vlogmas 2021 with Papa Squirrel's Nest. Uh, the question for today is what is your favorite card in the deck and why? I took some time to think about this because my favorite card tends to shift and change depending on what's going on in my life at any given time, what card I feel most connected to. Um, I'd have to say over the course of the last little while with COVID and lockdowns, I've definitely been channeling the Hermit in a really big way, which is fitting because it was my card of the year from June 2020 to June 2021. Um, I thought I would grab a few of my favorite Hermit cards to talk about why I love them and how the associations have been really helpful for me. Um, the first card I grabbed is from uh, Carrie at Bouchette Design Shop. Uh, it's from the Meraki Tarot, and I just love the imagery here with a wise old owl and the lantern shining in the darkness with the moon overhead. So much of um, the Hermit for me has to do with introspection and retreat and getting sorted with my intuition and my own thoughts. And of course, the Hermit is associated with Virgo in astrology, which is an introspective um, sign that really likes to analyze and inspect. Uh, it can veer towards being a little too overanalytical, perhaps. And Virgos tend to be really big hearted and huge caregivers, but they tend to do it from the sidelines. And sometimes it's hard to see how they actually feel. Uh, my North Node is in Virgo, and I can definitely... Um, relate to opening myself up more to this. I'm definitely overly analytical, but this idea of taking time to rest and be quiet and focus and tune into my intuition. But I just love that in this particular card, you have all of those elements. There's a moon for intuition. Again, there's a light shining through the darkness uh, for illumination. And the wise owl is looking at that intellectual perspective on the hermit. Um, Another card that kind of reflects that as well is a spacious tarot, and again, it's that lantern shining that light in the darkness, which I absolutely love. Please excuse my dog, he gets rather worked up when anyone goes by the house. Um, I find as I work with tarot, I gravitate more and more towards nature decks. I find um, so much peace and solace personally in nature. Uh, it's a place for me to go and reflect when I need to ground and center myself. Um, and uh, one of my favorite nature depictions outside of the two I just showed is this one from the Oak, Ash and Thorn Tarot by Three Trees Studio. Um, I just adore this little hedgehog and these little fireflies that are lighting up the darkness in the woods. Um, I'm Canadian, but I lived in Connecticut when I was very, very small. And I still remember taking time to play in the woods and just that sense of peace and comfort that um, they've now tamed it and termed it rather forest bathing um, but the the peace and content that that time in the woods when I was very very little uh, brings me anytime I walk through the woods and get that smell it brings me right back and that's one aspect of childhood that I feel very nostalgic about and I love that I can return to it whenever I want so I love that this card encapsulates that peace and contentment that comes with being in the woods Another Hermit card that I love is from the Way Home Tarot. I think it's just Way Home Tarot by Bakara Whitner and um, Autumn Whitehurst. This sweet bear looks so warm and cozy. And whenever I pull this card, it reminds me to embrace the rest aspect of the Hermit. Because yes, there's a retreat and there's introspection and reflection and illumination and intellectual pursuits and all of that. But there's also a big rest element to this card that for a reforming type A such as myself is super important. So I love that this card functions as a reminder for me to do just that. The last Hermit card that I pulled is from This Might Hurt Tarot by Isabella uh, Rotman. Um, it's a fabulous deck. It's really, really lovely. And I don't know, every time I pull this card, I can see myself in it and it explains it embraces that explorative nature of the hermit where you're venturing outside of your comfort zone and you're pushing yourself past, pushing myself past the bounds of my own personal comfort. I've personally found that the most illumination and insights have come to me when I venture out into the unknown, <laughs> to quote Elsa. 
Um, yeah, so that's my kind of collection of favorite tournament cards. I'm sure I've missed a few because there's so many amazing and talented artists within this community and creators. Um, yeah, but I just uh, wanted to touch on all of those and kind of give some thoughts on the Hermit card and why it resonates so much for me. I would love to hear what card or cards uh, resonate most with you in the comments below. Thanks.